couple of weeks ago, online electronics store Kogan, the new kid on the flat screen block, made this TV commercial. The big retailers spend big bucks on TV ads like this, and guess who pays for it? You! So now we're having a 20% price hike to pay for this ad. Until midnight Sunday, 22-inch TV with DVD was 349 now inflated to 419 to pay for this ad. 46-inch was 999 now inflated to 1199 to pay for this ad. Plus PDRs, Blu-ray players, and more. But be quick, on Monday we'll be back down to the market-shattering prices you always find online at kogan.com.au. Kogan, Australia's best value LCD and LED TVs. Mmm, subtle. <laughs> no names, but pretty hard to miss who it was aimed at. Get the latest and greatest at Harvey Norman. New from LG, the ultra-slim LCD TV, the slimmest panel in Australia. All right, Todd, what's Kogan's strategy? Uh, first of all, I just love the fact that he's using advertising to say that advertising is the problem. That's brilliant. Mm. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is... He's actually done a lot of things really well. Uh, the, f the first thing he's done is he's using Harvey Norman to build his brand. So he, uh, he, he's positioning himself, and this is not an uncommon position, he's positioning himself as the consumer champion. And to be the consumer champion, you need an enemy. He's got one. And Harvey Norman's giving him a free kick. Uh, the second thing he's doing, which is also very, very clever, he doesn't need advertising because he's using the media as his advertising agency. Mm. And they're just fueling the campaign. But the thing I think he's doing incredibly well is while all this is going on and the arguments are all happening, he's building an online community around his products. They're not mm. only helping him choose the new products to bring in, they're helping him design the products. Mm. They're giving feedback and recommendations. He is quietly building a whole community of people. Mm. And this is not whether one TV is better than another. This is whether one model Mm. is better than another. Yeah, yeah. As, in one, as in one model to get a sale. That's it, it's better than another. Completely right. Uh, we'll walk through some of it. Harvey Norman's annual advertising spend is an estimated $140 million. Some of these costs are inevitably passed on to consumers. Russell, Kogan has a point that we pay for the advertising, doesn't it? Yep, we do pay for the advertising. But what's interesting is that the Harvey Norman model is, it's a mass demand model. He's got mass distribution, he uses mass media to generate mass demand, which actually does bring down the price of the goods that he's advertising to get the sale. Mm. Does that make sense? No, but I do want to go to mass. <laughs> Well, the ad was not the first outbreak of hostility. Ruslan Kogan and Jerry Harvey have been bickering in the press and on TV. For someone to get up like this guy and say that he's cheaper than us, that's absolute rubbish. Here we've got two LED TVs. They're both exactly the same size. The Samsung retails for $5,499. The Kogan is launching at $23,99. You're buying a guarantee from those manufacturers that have been around a long time. You've got warranty. You've got peace of mind. Caught up in election fever, Kogan even challenged Harvey to a national televised debate. <laughs> An invitation Harvey declined. Jeremy, why would have Harvey been caught up in this war of words? The business people aren't always rational, they are emotional. He's got his uh, name on this business, he's incredibly tied to it. He's a national icon, everyone knows who Jerry Harvey is. And this guy has, has got to him. It, it, mm. It's irritated him. It, it's a personal level. It is the clicks versus bricks thing, isn't it? Where you are, he, his entire empire is based on its, its real estate, its property, its warehouses, and then someone comes along who actually doesn't have any of the burden of all that cost. So it would be very, very agitating. And it is, it's a young man with a 21st century business model. So, you know, he's, it's like, oh, hang on a second, mm. what's going on here? Mm. He probably should just match it with a different, another different, a different model, you know, yeah. well, a, a, different, a different brand, a different yeah, website doing the same thing. This is what Harvey Norman did 30 years ago. 30 years ago, Harvey Norman Took was on. the challenger discount brand against the big um, retailers Meyer. like David Jones and Meyer, yeah. called mm. Farmers back then, I mm. believe. Um, and so I think for Jerry Harvey, it's, it's incredibly galling to see someone do to him what he wants to But he's do. not taking advice. I reckon he's got a lot of yes men around him and no one's willing to say, Harvey, just shut up. Yeah. yeah. Some people have got to say, no, Harvey, no, no. Harvey. <laughs> exactly. No, Harvey. Uh, the curious thing about Kogan's TV ad is that it didn't go to air. Kogan announced publicly that he booked and paid for it to screen on Seven during the high rating Ben Cousins doco. But the network changed its mind. Now, Jane Seven told us Jerry Harvey didn't influence the decision, but... Why would a commercial network not back the cash? I think it's really interesting, this. I actually suspect that Jerry Harvey did not directly influence the decision. 
if Channel 7 did actually pull the ad, somebody thought that it would offend Jerry Harvey and he spends a lot of money on their channel and so they made the decision. The network television business model is a mass media generated model. You, mm. you have, they have to have mass retail advertisers mm. that are advertising day in, day out. This ad, one ad, ten grand, running in the Cousins documentary, is in fact taking the piss out of that model. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that you can sort and, of understand... And Kogan probably didn't expect it to run. No, that's I think right. he cleverly right. looked at it and said, I hope they pull it. He's that's got more... He, he's got more publicity from it not running yes. than he would have got yeah. eyeballs of people watching it with it. Well, this is, look, is this a common thing, though? Do ads get pulled all the time? Have you yeah. ever had an ad pulled? Yeah, I mean, ads do get pulled. And yeah. Look, I, I think, just before we just get that, I think, you know, there is a kind of editorial control. And if I'm, and, and Channel 7 has the right to mm. choose what ads run, and if they feel like in that context, in that show, it's not going to mm. work or they don't want to run it like that, then, then they have that choice. Uh, Kogan did approach us to see if we would talk about this story on air. Now, we'd already been following it anyway, but it did make the whole idea a little awkward. Uh, inconceivable, Jeremy, but um, have we been suckered into being part of his strategy, do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's worked. I mean, it's, it, it has. I mean... This, this TV show is about popular culture. He's got his brand into popular culture. And, and, and it's worked for him. And people are talking about it. It'll and be he's on getting, his website in 24 and he's hours. And he's getting brand fame um, out of it. And that's at his stage of the business cycle, that is exactly what he needs to do. He needs traffic and that, and, and to his site to get people there and build awareness at this point. And then if, uh, if the site's good enough, and he delivers well enough, and then the, and people buy enough, and the word of mouth spreads. Then he will be successful. And then and he'll, and then he'll he, start to use mainstream media, correct. and he'll start to pay for mainstream media as opposed to asking the mainstream media to give him free kicks. And in thirty years' time, you get really annoyed or, when someone or comes maybe along. Your point but, is, but it is, but it is funny. He couldn't get his ad to run on network, on commercial television, but he could get it to run on the ABC. <laughs> and I look forward to watching this segment on the new TV he got me at my house. <laughs> Thanks for the talent, fella. The Gruen Transfer, the experts in the truck.